What's up everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. I got Robert over here helping me out and like I've been saying, we've got this massive bunch of wood we've got to get cut so we can get the sawmill back up to my dad and so that we have the wood, uh, any extra wood for the roof on the yeah. whole birdhouse, uh, some of the porches and some projects here, the siding for my house. Um, I'll show you guys something and this is one of the first things we've got to do, especially moving some of these big logs. So you guys remember, you've probably seen me moving around some of these big poplars. I've got this big pine here and it's getting just really annoying trying to get any of these logs moved over to the sawmill. Once we get into that pecan, there's some big logs there. We got a problem we got to fix. I'll show you guys what that problem is. I'm not moving anything and this this just gets annoying uh if it won't pick it up that's fine but there's it would still pick part of this stuff up uh if i had more weight on the back so we're going to make a little counterbalance so that i can move some of these logs around without ending up in this position <laughs> And I will tell you, this happened to Robert once, and his eyeballs got about that big around. <laughs> when we were moving the tin at that old old hunk camp, it's like, oh! I'm like, you're good, just, just let the lid back down. And she comes back down. So we're gonna get this problem fixed. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, just for a uh, temporary fix, is I've got some two by fours, about 500 pounds of concrete, and i have done this before, nothing but the concrete fell off within a day or two, uh, and we ruined it. So we're gonna make, uh, make a little shelf here that we can just set on the uh, scrape blade, and have, it doesn't take much weight. Uh, we can have about, you know, five or 600 pounds back here, while I wait on the the time really to make a counterweight with a 55 gallon drum, which I have the drum, I just don't have the time, and we'll fill that full, make it a couple thousand pounds uh, for the hitch to hook up to. Now I know I'm gonna get comments on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and address it. Why don't you just load your tractor tire? So for those of you guys that don't know, these tires, any tractor tire, they're designed to be filled up about halfway with uh, not water but with uh, isopropyl alcohol or antifreeze, something to keep it from freezing. Now, it's not cheap. It's not cheap to have these things loaded. And because of some of the construction work, work we're doing over at the old bird farm, uh, plus around my place, I pay a couple hundred dollars to have tires loaded, we hit a nail. Now you're gonna lose all that money in your antifreeze or your alcohol. Um, so I wanna hold off on that until I know we have both of our places, you know, safe enough to where it just be a isolated incident. Um, we, we, we've already put one or two holes in tires and had to patch them. Um, not a big deal. So the tires will be getting loaded at some point. But in the meantime, we are going to make us a little, uh, a little ledge here to put some concrete on. Just use some ratchet straps and be able to put some weight on here.
All right, so now, now it's kind of like what you were thinking, except I'm only going to attach, I'm only going to attach these screws here to this back side. And batteries help. You'll have to have a pair of pliers. Yeah. Those things are a pain in the butt. got two pieces here so instead of having to find a screwdriver and everything uh, if I want to use this all I gotta do is pick this side up put that side down first pick this side up uh, I've got a ratchet strap here and actually I'm not going to ratchet strap this what I want to do is go grab my uh, my big heavy-duty garbage bags I got so I can put my concrete in the garbage bag and then I will run the ratchet strap over the garbage bags. That way the garbage bags don't move and should a thunder shower or something blow up, I don't lose my concrete. Uh, like I said, this is only temporary. It's gonna be for the next couple weeks just until I can get everything else fixed up. Five hundred pounds because it's set so far back. I think it's going to do a pretty good job uh, to keep the back end off the ground. We will know in a minute. The back end on the ground. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> that thing. Concrete's heavy. Hey, well, you know, I've been the counterweight on the back of this tractor before. And isn't it crazy when the back end comes up, just one person hopping up there? I'll pull the back end back down, so it doesn't take as much weight as you think. Um, because of how this thing's bound, so doesn't take a whole lot. Because one of the things I was thinking about, this might be on here a little longer than anticipated because the scrape blade benefits a whole lot from having extra weight on it. Especially if we're trying to pull stuff like wisteria. I don't know who has wisteria. Somebody I know has a bunch of wisteria. No. Somebody I know likes to dip my tractor uh -oh. with all their wisteria. Yeah. I gotta go order a new engine, so fair enough. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, a little bit of uh, about four times eight, 30, $30 in concrete, a little bit of ingenuity, a few screws, well, about 30 minutes worth of work yep. or so. I think that this will, now, uh, this, this tractor is pretty stout, so it might possibly still pull the front end up. But if it pulls the front end up now, it's because I'm a hold of something that is way too big for the tractor. Like it's not really going. I might need to tighten and tighten this up just a little bit, but uh, with just just because the tarps there. But I mean, it's not. Remember when we were over there before? We had it off this, you know, we're losing the bags left off, and right. Yeah. So we're gonna give this a shot, and we might need to do some fine tuning or tightening in a minute as it loosens up. But uh, I say we go see if I can still fuck myself off the track. Try it out. Tractors on the ground. The tractor is on the ground. So that's what I wanted. So in order to get this one high to saw, I might have to take a couple feet off of it. But uh, at least now, I don't end up in this position when I'm trying to pick something up. Hey, okay, it worked. All right, guys. Well, hope you all enjoyed watching. Uh, if you ever need to make a counterweight for a tractor, quick. Uh, and Really? Really? You guys have seen how Blue doesn't like a tractor? I have one little dog, the meme, the mother of Mimi, and we'll be meeting her uh, here in an upcoming video. She hates the tractor, any machinery. And so, as soon as it starts up, she is like in kill tractor mode. Anyway, if you need to make a quick, inexpensive kind of weight for a tractor, if you're picking something up, this is just one easy way to do it and uh stay tuned because there'll be a lot more tips and tricks for homesteading random stuff we do and oh man this was the easy part now we've got started on this 